voice of the Cavs. But now Joe Tate is now headed for retirement. He broadcast his last game as the Cavs bid farewell to their season. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us now live from Quicken Loans Arena with a look at this memorable night for Tate. John? Yeah, Alicia, it is an emotional night for sure, but the queue now stands for quiet. The, the floor is quiet, the season is now quiet, and the legendary Hall of Fame microphone of Joe Tate is now quiet as well. Before the game even started, Joe Tate strolled through the queue like he did through the Coliseum before it and the Cleveland Arena before that. His thoughts were squarely on the game, he told me. Nothing else. Then I saw the Washington Wizards roster. They got guys on there from every part of the planet. Most of them have totally unpronounceable names. So it'll, that'll be the challenge tonight is to get through this ball game with those guys. That was part of the problem. The other was dealing with all the attention surrounding this, his final game game as Cavs announcer at Heffernan worked with Joe for 14 years and says tonight marks the end of an era. One of Joe's marching orders right from the beginning, especially from Mr. Gunn, was to paint pictures for a man whose vision was impaired. And, you know, from telling us the colored jerseys and where the stripes are, you know, with the wine and gold trim, that sort of thing. The sessions all the way to the hoop, put it up and in. I think we've been spoiled and he's the best. Fans came to be part of this historical night and for fan appreciation, where the Cavs say a million dollars in gifts were handed out. Oh, curves, I need that. Oh, <laughs> and a free round of golf, I like that too. Oh, I got five. Five hour, just what I need. What is five hour energy. Five hour energy. Trust me, you need it. The guests were nice. Being here to say goodbye and thanks to Joe was nicer. You know, he's a fabulous guy, and I hope that his health maintains and he comes through all of this. A lot of people wishing Joe the best tonight, included among them sports director Andy Baskin. You had the pleasure of spending four years on the road with Joe. Your, your feelings tonight? Well, I think it's interesting. You know, I look back and I see Joe Tate and I see the voice of, you know, not only a little bit of Indians baseball for me as a kid, but also as a Cavaliers announcer for all but, you know, two years when he wasn't with the team. And the thing that I noticed the most tonight as they kept showing him on TV was this. I mean, here's a guy that is wearing his credential. <laughs> I mean, if there's one guy in this building that doesn't need to wear a credential, it's Joe Tate. I think the thing that makes Joe Tate so special in today's age is the fact that he could say whatever he wanted on the air and we all know that you know teams dictate what it's going on with broadcasters because they pay their salaries Joe Tate is a dying breed he's a guy that was able to say exactly what he wanted on the air every night and that's what made Joe great I mean that really for me that's he was just so honest on the air he spoke with the elegance uh, befitting his Hall of Fame status but also like the guy on the bar stool next to you one of a kind yeah there is no question about it we are gonna miss Joe Tate we are fortunate also to have a guy like Tom Hamilton in town too we have two of the greatest play-by-play -play guys I think of all time in this city but Joe Tate will desperately be missed I think when we go back to close our eyes and think about great plays in Cavaliers basketball history Andy Baskin thank you very much much more coming down from the queue a little bit later Andy will have it in sports Alicia all right what a night thanks guys